As I prepare to enter into the real estate industry as a new realtor, I feel nervous because in my research, I have discovered that 87% of new real estate agents fail within the first five years. That's a scary thought. And it makes me wonder, am I going to be part of the 87% who fail or will I be part of the 13% who succeed? So I feel nervous, but fortunately, I am turning my fear of failing into motivation, motivation to prepare a superstar game plan and to work the plan consistently. And that there is a very key point, right? It's not enough just to have a superstar game plan. You have to actually work the game plan. Otherwise, the plan will have no value. In my research, I've learned that overall, the most successful real estate agents are the ones who develop a superstar game plan and stay committed to working the plan consistently. I have thoroughly studied multiple YouTube videos on the topic of why 87% of new real estate agents fail within the first five years. One of my favorite YouTube channels is the YouTube channel of Tom Ferry. His videos are so very insightful. And so I have taken a lot of material from Tom Ferry and combined it with material from other sources. And I have developed what I call the top eight things you need in order to succeed as a new real estate agent. Number one, connect with the right mentors. This is so very important because as humans, we automatically adopt the mindset and behaviors of the people we spend the most time with. As Jim Rohn once said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. It's so true. And so research your local real estate market and find out who are the top producing agents in your local area. And then reach out to them and see if they would be open to letting you join their team. And if so, then interview them to see if their personality would be a good match with your personality. Ask yourself questions like, do they have the heart of a teacher? Also ask yourself, are they willing to make the time to pour into you wisdom and guidance and support? Try to interview as many of these top producing agents as you can, and then pick the one that will be the best fit. So number one is connect with the right mentors. Number two, Job shadow your mentors. Watch them as they do meetings and open houses and listing presentations and house showings and consultations. Always remember this, success leaves footprints. There's a lot that you can pick up just by watching how successful people work. Number three, develop a superstar game plan with the advice and guidance you receive from your mentors. There are strategies and methods and processes and procedures that have been proven to be successful and effective. Now, of course, there is no one size fits all regarding these game plans. So you have to research to figure out which game plan would work best for you based on your specific strengths and talents. But overall, your game plan should include consistent prospecting, marketing, and lead generation. Focus on what Tom Ferry calls the core four, database, open houses, geographic real estate farming, and online presence. Number four, stay consistent even when you don't see immediate results. Success takes time. There is no overnight success. Keep on working the plan and trust that things are working even when you don't see them, right? They're working even under the surface. Think of your real estate business like the Chinese bamboo tree, right? Like any other plant, the growth of the Chinese bamboo tree requires nurturing, right? It requires water, requires fertile soil, it requires sunshine, right? But here's the thing about the Chinese bamboo tree. In its first year, we see no visible signs of activity. In its second year, again, we see no visible signs of activity. In its third year, again, we see no visible signs. In its fourth year, again, we see no visible signs, no signs of growth, 
no signs of activity. And so as you can imagine, our patience is tested and we begin to wonder if our efforts will ever be rewarded. And then finally, in the fifth year, we experience the growth. And it's a huge growth. The Chinese bamboo tree grows 80 feet in just six weeks during the fifth year. But now here's the question. Does the Chinese bamboo tree really grow 80 feet in six weeks? Or did the Chinese bamboo tree, was it growing underground, developing a root system strong enough to support its potential for outward growth in the fifth year and beyond? The answer is, of course, obvious. Had the tree not developed a strong unseen foundation, it could not have sustained its life as it grew. The same principle is true for us as real estate agents. The real estate agents who become successful are the ones who stay consistent and committed, even when there are no visible signs of growth. They know that things are working under the surface. They know that they're building a strong foundation under the surface. Now keep in mind that it's a numbers game. There are patterns to everything, right? Pay attention to the numbers. In many cases, it takes 40 to 60 conversations to produce at least one closed transaction. And so by knowing your numbers, you can plan out how many conversations you need to have in order to expect a certain number of closed transactions. For, for example, if your ratio tends to be 50 conversations for every one closed transaction, and if your goal is to secure at least eight transactions a, a month, then you know you need to plan to have at least 100 conversations per week, which is around 15 conversations per day. It's all a numbers game. Know your numbers, plan your work, and work your plan. Stay consistent even when you don't see immediate results. Number five, set up a very specific morning routine and daily schedule. That is very important because we are creatures of habit. And so it is important to develop a set of specific routines and schedules that will become habits because habits become easy to maintain. Number six, View mistakes as learning experiences. Do not be afraid to make mistakes. And as you make mistakes, do not beat yourself up. Instead, celebrate that every mistake is an opportunity to learn. Keep in mind that failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is part of the pathway to success. Number seven, manage your finances wisely. A lot of new real estate agents struggle because they did not set up a good system of financial ma management. As a real estate agent, you should aim to always maintain a strong emergency fund of at least six to 12 months of your living expenses because your income is not stable, especially in the beginning. In addition, you should set up a good bookkeeping system to separate your business transactions from your personal transactions and to track your business income and your business expenses so that you can clearly calculate your business's net income on a monthly basis. Consistently track your finances so that you'll be in a position to effectively manage your finances. And the last one, number eight is this, make the process fun. New real estate agents often fall into the trap of feeling overwhelmed and frustrated as they are trying to build momentum. Don't fall into that trap. Instead, be patient with yourself, take things one step at a time and make the process fun because really success does not lead to happiness. Happiness leads to success. Enjoy the process. Don't focus on the results. Instead, focus on the process. Fall in love with the process. Stay consistent with the process. And eventually, excellent results will come automatically. So let's recap. The top eight things you need in order to succeed as a new real estate agent. Number one, 
connect with the right mentors. Number two, job shadow your mentors. Number three, develop a superstar game plan. Number four, stay consistent even when you don't see immediate results. Number five, set up a very specific morning routine and daily schedule. Number six, view mistakes as learning experiences. Number seven, manage your finances wisely. And number eight, make the process fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on the next video.